Registered Phenomena Code 254 Object Class Alpha Orange Hazard Types Transmutation Hazard Contact Hazard Emotional Hazard Ideological Hazard Mind Control Hazard Sentient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-254 is to be contained in a standard Alpha containment chamber, monitored 24 hours a day. RPC-254 itself will be kept in a sealed, soundproof glass box, which is to be opened exclusively in lab conditions. Description. RPC-254 appears to be an ordinary cymbal-banging monkey toy, branded Musical Jolly Chimp. It possesses red-striped pants and a yellow vest with red buttons and red strips around the eyes. The object is seemingly ordinary upon first glance, though closer inspection reveals the fur is made out of real skin. See Figure 1.1 RPC-254 can be turned on by pressing a small red button on its back, after which its anomalous effects will display. The object will start banging its cymbals, walking in circles, and chattering. Such occurrence may take place even without batteries. RPC-254 appears to possess some degree of sentience, although highly limited, only being able to communicate by repeating any of its 35 predetermined lines. After it has been activated, RPC-254 will attempt to gain the attention of the closest sapient subject in a 2-meter radius. If any subject was to maintain its focus or attention on RPC-254 for over 10 seconds, it will become an instance of RPC-254-A, and will begin losing motor and mental skills over the course of two weeks, with the subject's both sentience and sapience decreasing. It was also shown, subjects with history of mental disorders were shown to survive for as little as five days. This effect was proven to be caused by withdrawal, as subjects introduced to RPC-254 were shown to produce great amounts of serotonin, testosterone, and Instances of RPC-254-A are characteristically catatonic, unattentive, and inactive, signs which worsen as time progresses. Attempts to study the subject's brain, be it via PET scans or MRIs, are all unsuccessful. Brain autopsy reveals a white fog-like substance surrounds the brain. The fog is of neutral pH, though increasing in the later stages, up to an average of 11.2, approximately the same as ammonia solution. How it appears, or where it comes from, is currently unknown so further study will be necessary in order to understand it. The aforementioned substance only forms approximately one hour after withdrawal. The cerebral mist cannot be removed without risking permanent and irreversible brain damage, and efforts to do so have failed. The condition is considered chronic and fatal, with no known cure as of now. <coughs> Discovery RPC-254 was found during an African expedition related to RPC being used ritualistically by a classified North African tribe on the elderly. The object was being used to help dying members of the tribe pass away peacefully, as they would die before the withdrawal symptoms showed. RPC-254 was quickly contained after the initial investigation, despite resistance from the tribe. Forward, the subject is CSD-2599. Caucasian male, years old, 178 cm tall, clean medical history, no diagnosed mental illnesses. Subject was exposed to RPC-254 effects for 20 and a half seconds, after which he was forcefully escorted out of RPC-254's chamber. Although the subject showed great emotional distress in the process, resilient to let go of the object. An MRI confirmed that the subject had effectively turned into an RPC-254-A instance. He was sent to the infirmary for closer inspection 12 hours after exposure. Begin log. The subject was brought in a safety jacket at 20 hundred hours for a checkup. CSD-2599 showed catatonic behavior, 
staring expressionless at a wall. The subject was still able to speak, though with brevity, and only when told to. The subject's eyes have lost coloration, and a star-like pattern born on the irises. The rest of his body remained the same as it did before being exposed to RPC-254's effects. Brain activity is low, and the subject is unresponsive. RPC-254-A's condition will begin to progressively worsen as the subject's brain is melted by the acidic fog, a slow though painless process. Patient Number Progression 36 hours before exposure CSD-1034 was relocated from his cell to a special room. This room contains one individual bed, one toilet, one sink, one shower, twelve different puzzles, one toy piano, one painting set, one symbol banging monkey toy, and thirty authority-approved books. Identical to RPC-254 in appearance and function. The subject showed great interest and fascination. CSD-1034 spent his day toying around, painting and attempting to play a melody on the toy piano. CSD-1034 played with the symbol banging monkey for two minutes, before getting bored of it and leaving it on the table. It was apparent the subject had no interest in the toy. Four hours before exposure, the subject had dinner and went to sleep around 2300 while reading a copy of Treasure Island, book written by Robert Louis Stevenson in 1882. At 0800, CSD-1034 woke up and resumed his daily activities. It has been over 24 hours since the subject was moved to his new cell, having attempted multiple times to talk to the few Authority personnel that interacted with the subject. Before testing, the subject was sent in for a mental health assessment. Results were unremarkable. Test Log 254.1.23 The subject was escorted to RPC-254's containment chamber, where he was asked to interact with the top on the table. The security personnel proceeded to leave the room and lock the chamber. CSD-1034 took no time to approach the object, and after some inspection, pressed the red button on his back and put it on the floor where RPC-254 began dancing and banging its cymbals. The subject showed great fascination by it, following its every move and laughing uncontrollably as it flipped. The scene went on for 30 seconds before the security personnel escorted the subject out. The subject resisted, wanting to stay with RPC-254. One hour after exposure. CSD-1034 was put back into his cell, where he quickly resumed his daily activities, such as playing with the piano, and continued reading. The subject, however, quickly lost interest in the toy piano, getting frustrated after 20 minutes. The subject quickly went to sleep, bored by the book. Three days after exposure, RPC-254-A stopped taking care of itself, its last two days consisting mostly on waking up eating and sleeping, with only short lapses of interest in painting. The subject keeps mumbling incoherently to itself. One week after exposure. At this point, the subject had already become an instance of RPC-254-A, having lost all interest in performing most activities, the few remaining doing so only for a few minutes. Another, identical mental health assessment was ran on the subject the subject scoring noticeably lower than before. Nine days after exposure, RPC-254-A has fallen into a coma, thus being transported from its now disgusting cell to the infirmary to track brain activity. It was put on life support. Twelve days after exposure, the subject finally dies in bed. Autopsy revealed the brain had turned to a liquidy white mush. Further examination revealed it with a pool of hormones. A toy eye of unknown origin was found floating in it. End log. Interview 254.2 Begin log. Hello, CSD-1253. How are you feeling? No response. Are you with me, CSD-1253? The subject nods. Then please answer my question. 
I... I want to go back. You will return to your cell once you answer a few of my questions. No, I mean with Tumbili. Monkey and Swahili, other similar names were given to the object by different test subjects. RPC-254? The subject nods. Why is that? I… I'm happy there with him. I don't know how I'll live the rest of my life like this. I see. When you were reassigned to your new cell, you were making progress on piano. Why did you stop playing? I don't… like piano. I'm so tired. You play one note. You played them all. The subject nods. It's so… so… tired. Please let me go. Just a few more questions, please. The subject remained unresponsive. Alright, escort him to his chamber. End log.